so far, but we're going to see the chance for some rain later, which is not bad either because that brings us some relief from the heat. Right now, we're seeing plenty of sunshine and blue skies from our Broward camera and from our Key West camera as well. And looking at the radar, we are mainly quiet. We've had a few sprinkles here and there, but really now it's all about the heat. Wow, Miami, 94 degrees, 92 in Fort Lauderdale. And we're seeing the 90s down through the Keys and you add in the humidity and it feels like the hundreds. Right now, it feels like 103 in Fort Lauderdale and 104 in Key West. So another reminder to stay hydrated, drink lots of water, try to stay in the shade and the air conditioning, especially with those feels like temperatures in the triple digits with this extreme summertime heat. The wind right now not helping us out much, not much of a breeze, variable and light three to eight miles an hour and highs will continue to climb to 93 degrees and we'll see the chance for those storms as we head into the afternoon and the future radar is giving you an idea of the timing of some of the storms. So as we get into around 2 3 p.m. we'll see storms moving from the Everglades and spreading eastward and we could see some heavy downpours as you'll see from this model as we get into the evening rush yes it could be soggy and we could even see some lightning and gusty winds but notice how it quiets down as we get into later tonight for you boaters winds out of the west northwest 5 to 10 knots seas two and a light chop on the bays and tonight you can see the chance for a few storms early in the evening and then overnight we'll just be warm and muggy with the upper 70s. Look at the moisture forecast and you'll see a lot more green indicating deeper moisture as we head into the middle but especially the end of the week and when we have that ocean breeze as well that's going to increase our chance for showers and storms as we head into the second half of the week and likely even into the weekend. Thankfully the good news is that we are quiet in the Gulf of Mexico, in the Caribbean, in the Atlantic. Cyclone development is not expected in the next two to five days and as we look at the extended forecast our highs will continue in the low 90s. We'll see a better chance of storms on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Francis.